Today, President Biden plans to visit Florida to see damage from Adalia. He is scheduled to head there this morning as recovery efforts remain underway. For people across Florida's Big Ben, it's another day of extensive cleanups after the storm. A lot of homeowners and businesses are trying to figure out exactly what's next for them. Joining me now with more on the influx of insurance claims and financial recovery from disasters like Adalia is National Trial Attorney Dante Mills of Mills and Edwards Law Firm. And thank you for being with us today. I think a lot of people go through these storms and think they're prepared, but maybe they're not so much. Before even a storm hits, what do you suggest people do? So the thing you really want to do is just document everything. Mm -hmm. You want to do a walkthrough of your home, a video walkthrough. That way, after the storm, when you come back and assess the damage, you can take another video, do another video walkthrough, and your insurance company or FEMA or whoever you're getting mm -hmm. benefit from can compare the two videos and make a determination of what damage is from the storm. That's a really good idea. But insurance-wise, what type of insurance should you even have to make sure that you are covered? Uh, and is there a sh an insurance that will cover everything related to a storm? Florida's getting tricky now. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of insurance companies that's pulling out. They're not writing policies in Florida for flood insurance because there's a lot of disasters that's happening. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to try to find that insurance. If you don't, there's there's things that's available like FEMA. Mm -hmm. They have programs available. And oftentimes when you have these hurricanes or natural disasters, there's private companies that come in and have funding available for the mm -hmm. people in that area. So just make sure you look around and ask around. And, and if people are offering help, yeah. you want to verify but then take advantage of it. I know we're talking about Florida, but I want to bring it closer home. And we have uh, Annapolis, we have Alexandria, prone to flooding whenever we do get huge storms in this area. Uh, you know, around this, these parts, we may not think insurance is necessary, but you never know. They, that's why they call them acts of God, right? What type of insurance do you suggest people get or just have as just a, a just in case? Just in case, you want to make sure you're covered from uh, floods mm -hmm. because it can happen in, in a number of different ways. Mm -hmm. uh, you also want to make sure you're covered with fire insurance, okay. um, theft insurance. Those are things that you want to protect your property uh, from things that you can't control. Right. right? If, if, if a natural disaster happens, it can be devastating and wipe out everything, and you don't want to be left trying to pay for it, every piece of furniture that was in your house, everything that you lost, right. all of the uh, wood now that you have to replace. Mm -hmm. So insurance really is a great benefit and a tool, so you pay incrementally yeah. over time, but you have that protection there you if something happens. You have that protection. Okay, and then last but not least, when a storm is over, contact your insurance company right away, or should you wait and do something to make sure you're preserved before you actually reach out to them? What's your suggestion? So what you should do initially, the first thing you should do is go in and record the damage. That way, when you have that initial phone call with your insurance company, you have a sense of really what you need from them. Right? You want to reach out after you know what you need, so go and record that damage. Speak to your insurance company right away, but just start documenting things that you've lost or things that were affected by that disaster, and that's really the best way to protect yourself. I love that. How can folks get a hold of you if they want any more advice or just need your services? Yes, you can always give us a call. Um, we're at 1-800-516-1314 uh, or on Website. Instagram or, or in, uh, <laughs> melaw.com. Uh -huh. Uh, and we've got it there on your screen. Just in case you didn't have a pen to write down the number, here it is on your screen. Take a screenshot of it with your phone. I know people have their phones by their sides as they're watching TV sometimes. There it is, Dante Mills of Mills & Edwards Law Firm. We appreciate your time this morning. Thanks for that insight. Thank you. All right.